Hello and welcome. This video is about the rate of photosynthesis and the factors that affect it, also known as the limiting factors. So for a plant to grow fast, it needs to have a fast rate of photosynthesis. And if we look at the equation, we can see that a number of factors can affect the reaction. And there needs to be a sufficient supply of these things in order for photosynthesis to be optimized. For example, uh, carbon dioxide would be one. Looking at the equation, water might be another. Also, light would be another another factor affecting the rate of the reaction. But also, if we look at the leaves themselves, the leaves contain chlorophyll. And the amount of chlorophyll, or the number of chloroplasts, could affect the rate of reaction in this plant. So there are many factors that would affect the rate, but the biggest factors that you need to be concerned with for your GCSEs are these three. The light intensity, the carbon dioxide concentration, and the temperature. And you need to be able to talk about these, and only these, for the exam. It's worth bearing in mind that while water is part of the equation, it's actually not really much of a limiting factor for for plants um, and there are reasons for that but it's beyond the scope of GCSEs and you don't really need to know it but just for the exam don't mention water you only need to be mentioning these three and we're going to have a look at each of these three have a look at the graphs and we're going to explain why the graphs look that way and then at the end we'll try and answer an exam style question so the first factor we'll look at is light intensity and we can see from this graph how the rate of photosynthesis that's on the y-axis is affected by increasing light intensity on the x-axis assuming all other factors are kept constant and we're only changing the light intensity so in the beginning we see that as we increase light intensity the rate also increases however after a certain point even if we continue increasing the light intensity the rate doesn't increase any further so why won't the rate increase the answer is something else must be limiting the rate of the reaction because here we have plenty of light intensity and we're increasing the light intensity so therefore here at this stage light intensity is not the limiting factor because we're increasing that something else must be the limiting factor so something else is limiting the reaction here the only limiting factor is light light is the limiting factor here but beyond that even if we continue increasing the light intensity the rate of photosynthesis does not carry on increasing so something else must be limiting it so what is that something else well it could be one of the other three factors that we looked at one was light intensity which is our x-axis here the other two are carbon dioxide concentration and temperature and they might be the thing that is holding back the rate of reaction in this case it may be that there isn't enough carbon dioxide or it may be that the temperature isn't right so something else is holding it back here not the light intensity the same sort of pattern appears on the carbon dioxide graph so this is carbon dioxide concentration increasing along the x-axis and we have rate of photosynthesis on the y-axis like before so what we see as we as we start to increase the carbon dioxide concentration is the rate of photosynthesis will increase so up until that point here here carbon dioxide is the limiting factor now beyond that point increasing carbon dioxide does not increase the rate of photosynthesis so here, although we're increasing carbon dioxide concentration, the rate does not increase. So that tells us that something else 
is limiting it. Something else is the limiting factor here. Okay. And that something else could be either light intensity or it could be the temperature that's limiting the reaction at this stage. But it's something else other than carbon dioxide. And the third and final graph here is for temperature. So we have temperature increasing along the x-axis and then we have rate of photosynthesis as always on the y-axis. Now what we see is as we increase the temperature the rate of reaction will increase quite steadily. And this is because the particles involved in the reaction have more energy, therefore they will collide more often, and therefore the rate of photosynthesis will increase because there are more collisions. However, the temperature reach, reaches an optimum, and then beyond that, if the temperature gets too high, the enzymes that control the photosynthesis reaction become denatured and therefore the rate of reaction falls quite rapidly. So from here, down here, the enzymes are being denatured. Okay, and that's why the rate of reaction drops so fast. Now we can make use of our understanding of limiting factors when it comes to growing crops and plants, and we can use a greenhouse to control the environment and therefore help plants to grow quicker. So the things we can control here, if you think about our three main limiting factors, light, so if it's uh, not a particularly bright day outside, you can turn on lighting to increase the light that the plants get. Carbon dioxide as well can be pumped into the greenhouse to increase the carbon dioxide levels. And also the temperature can be controlled so that the yield of the crops is the highest possible. So we can control those three, three factors, the light, the temperature and the carbon dioxide levels to ensure a higher yield of our crops. In addition, companies can also use a system called hydroponics, where they can grow plants without using soil. They're grown in water and in the water it has the perfect balance of mineral ions. All the mineral ions that the plant needs in order to grow, in order to build amino acids and build complex carbohydrates and all the rest. So they actually grow plants without soil. They just grow them in water. And this is far more economical in the long run because they don't need soil, they don't need land they could stack these on top of each other therefore reducing the amount of land they need to grow these crops so a lot of companies do this on an industrial level so let's have a look at a typical exam question that you might encounter the graph shows the effects of changing the temperature light intensity and carbon dioxide concentration on the growth of lettuce plants so let's have a look at the graph the y-axis here it says mean mass of lettuce plants after 21 days in grams so it's telling us the mass or how much mass the lettuce plants gained over a 21 day period so in essence what the y-axis is telling us here is the rate of reaction how fast do these lettuce plants grow and the, sp the speed at which they grow is influenced directly by the rate of reaction of photosynthesis and on the y-axis we've got light intensity as our independent variable. So there's actually four lines on this graph, which may look confusing at first, but let's have a look at them and try to explain. The first one at the bottom here, this one, we're still increasing the light intensity along the x-axis, but specifically the carbon dioxide concentration is at 0.03%, and the temperature is set at 15 degrees Celsius and those don't change as so we change light intensity but we keep these two things constant the CO2 and the temperature the second line is for the same concentration of CO2 but a different temperature and you notice that the rate is a bit higher because the temperature is higher the next line here increased the carbon dioxide concentration to 4% and the temperature 15 degrees and then the last one 
we've still got 4% carbon dioxide, but we've increased the temperature to 25 degrees. And these four lines show what happens in each of these four situations as you increase the light intensity. So the question says, describe and explain the effect of increasing light intensity on the, me on the mean mass of lettuce plants at 4% carbon dioxide and 15 degrees Celsius. So we want this particular situation. So we look at 4% carbon dioxide and 15 degrees. So, so we want this one here. We want to look at this one here. So it says describe and explain. Describe and explain the effect of increasing light intensity on the mean mass of lettuce plants. So first of all, we describe the graph because it says describe. So what does the line look like? Well, we can say up until up until around six or seven arbitrary units, the increasing light, light intensity leads to an increase in mean mass of lettuce plants. And then after around six or seven arbitrary units, increasing the light intensity has no effect on the mean mass of lettuce plants because you see the curve here flattens out. So first we need to describe the shape of it. Then once we've described the shape of it, we need to explain why it looks that way. So for the first section here that we described where where increasing the light intensity leads to an increase in mean mass of lettuce plants, we need to explain that the light intensity is the limiting factor. So from zero to around six to seven arbitrary units, the light intensity is the limiting factor. Beyond that, so between around six or seven up until 10, light intensity is no longer the limiting factor because we're continuing to increase the light intensity, but the rate is not increasing. So something else other than the light intensity is limiting the rate of reaction. So we need to hear here, we need to explain the fact that it flattens out by saying that there is some other factor that is limiting the rate of reaction other than light intensity at this stage. Okay, so to recap, the first section, light intensity increases and the mean mass increases. The reason for that is that the light intensity is the limiting factor, so increasing it will lead to an increase in the mean mass of lettuce plants. The next section here, beyond six to seven arbitrary units, increasing the light intensity does not lead to an increase in mean mass of lettuce plants. The reason for that is something else must be limiting the rate of reaction. It's either carbon dioxide that is the limiting factor here or it's the temperature in this case. Okay so I hope that video was helpful. Any suggestions, any comments make them below. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you all in our next video.